Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Today, I do appreciate you stopping by. Today's beer, we're going to do the Concrete Jungle Brewing Project. This is their Strawberry Alarm Clock, and they're calling it a uh, Milkshake IPA. Guys, we did one from them yesterday. Uh, it was their Vanilla uh, Milkshake IPA, and it wasn't so impressive. And this one also does not have any dating. So every time of these, these boys there at Concrete uh, Jungle Brewing Project uh, feel like they can make a, an IPA and and distribute it out to the beer stores without a date on it. Hmm. What do you think about that? I know what I think about it. I think it would sit on the shelf to the damn cows come home. That's what I think about it. But well, they can do what they want to. I'm just telling you, this guy wouldn't buy this beer if it was available here without a date on it. So, but I got this by the way of Servile Liquors out in San Diego. Uh, Donovan and the guys out there, uh, if you're in that area, go by and see them, tell them I said hello. And if you're not, jump on the internet, craftcity.com. They got a bunch of beers uh, that you can order. And if your state allows them to ship beers to you, you know, come right to your door. You ain't gotta go anywhere. Just sign the little thing when the man brings it to you and You'll have a nice box of beers. So, uh, like I said, yesterday's beer wasn't too impressive for these guys. Maybe this one will be. Uh, we're going to find out here in just a second. Uh, Untapped has it listed as, uh, the commercial description says, Juicy IPA with tart strawberry aromatics, lush mouthfeel, lightly bitter. No IBUs on this one. It's only a 6%er, not a big beer here, guys. So, that is all we need to talk about. I don't think... Uh, there's anything else uh, beer advocate does have this one listed they didn't have yesterday's listed uh, but the nobody has commented or rated it yet so uh, zero ratings from those guys over there so let's get into it and see what we have here today big 16 ounce can and again just like yesterday's beer it's already coming out of the top yesterday's beer seemed to be a little over carbonated this one looks to be the same way so don't think these guys have quite figured out what they need to do. And as yesterday's beer, as you see, I mean, I'm not pointing super aggressive and we got a half a glass of foam already. So, overcarbonated beers. Uh, no date on their beers and it's an IPA. So, there's two strikes right off the bat. If we can get this thing in there without having five fingers of foam, it does have a slight pinkish tint to the beer coming out of the can here. Look at this, guys. I mean, I mean, I'd be ashamed if I was working or in charge of concrete jungle brewers. Uh, I damn sure don't know how to uh, how to brew a beer. I'm sorry, my beers don't do this. I I can brew a beer without having ten fingers of foam on it. Eh. This what it is. Basically, that's all I can get in the glass, guys. <laughs> Four fingers of head on that. Think it's carb well carbonated? Think it's over carbonated? Yes, it is. Well, let's get the nose to it and see what we got here. It's a shame, boys. A little bit of strawberries. Hint of some citrusy notes. And that's about it. That's all I'm getting on it on the nose here, guys. And it, like I said, it has just a slightish, ever so slight pinkish tint to it. 
So, let's dive in and see what we got. Cheers, Donovan, and all the guys out there serving all the liquors. Cheers. Tart strawberries. Slight hint of some citrusy notes. And that's it. I'm getting the same thing on the taste that I was giving on the nose. Yep. So let me see if I can uh, get a little more of this in here. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to pour what I can in there, guys, and then we're going to go off camera. If I can't get it all in there, it is what it is, guys. I'm pouring this as gentle as I can, absolutely possibly can here, guys. But it's just, it's overcarbonated. It's this plain and simple. It's overcarbonated. That's all I can get in there. Well, I'm going to sip on this, and hopefully within the next hour, I can get it all out of the can and get it into the glass. But eh. I'm going to reserve any other comments till I come back. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm back. I sip on those for, for for a while now. Uh, it took about 20 minutes with three different pours to finally get it all in the glass. Unbelievable. Unfreaking believable. I'd be embarrassed if I was putting this out. I really would. Uh, unimpressive, guys. Period. No date. Overcarbonated. Tart strawberries is... is Basically, all I'm getting, other than just a slight hint of some citrusy notes, not what I am looking for in a uh, in an IPA. Bottom line, so I wouldn't buy it. So I hate to be that way to Donovan and the guys out there, uh, but this is one that would sit on the shelf and I would walk past. Final choke. It doesn't even taste like an IPA. It tastes like some fruity beer, guys. Which I don't drink. I'm not a fan of. If I want a line of Kugel, I'll get a line of Kugel and drink some kind of fruity flavored beer. Uh, when I see an IPA, I, I want it to have the IPA characteristics. You know, pine, grapefruit, pineapple, uh, all the tropical fruit notes and oranges and pears and peaches and this is this don't this is not it. So, if you're an IPA fan, don't think this will blow your hair back or your socks off at all. And I was hoping to give this one uh, a better grade. And I think the the Untapped and the Beer Advocate guys, uh, if they were uh, Beer Advocate guys, since there's no ratings there, we can't go with those uh, those ratings because there are none. Uh, guys, I'm sorry. I'm giving this a three, poor. That's why I said uh, super unimpressed with this. So that's two from those guys that I would probably not buy. So I don't know if they know how to brew a beer or not. I'm not sure. So that being said, let's jump over for our final check-in. It untapped and they have a 3.71, which is in their B range. If this one hadn't been so arbicarbonated, it may have got a B minus. But it was just so over the top, uh, overcarbonated. Uh, I just can't go there. It's not what I'm looking for in an IPA, and to be honest with you, neither one of those were. The milkshake IPAs, not hitting on a whole lot. Just my opinion, though. You might try it and think it's the best thing you ever tasted. Doesn't do anything for me, not for this guy here. So, that being said, if you've had the Strawberry Alarm Clock on Concrete Jungle Brewing Project, let me know what you think. Till we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge.